In this video, I'm going to show you how you can help create this vintage look by the way you treat your layers. One of the things you'll notice in the Vintage Techniques video on making this tapestry paper is that I used layer upon layer of stamping. So now we're going to look at layers of cardstock. And what I have found is that if I stamp each layer before I put the layers together, that where one layer shows beneath another, you can see that it's got texture, not just from the distressed edges, but from the stamping that's been done on the layer so, itself. So one of my favorite stamps for as a background stamp for vintage projects is the Vintage Vogue Wheel. I like it because it's a, uh, it's a good vintage design and it's a little uh, distressed looking itself and it also will cover a piece of cardstock pretty darn quickly because it's a jumbo wheel and I love wheels because you can cover a lot of ground very quickly. So there's uh, my soft suede layer and I've inked it with soft suede and I'm going to do the same thing with the Blushing Bride layer. Now most of this is not going to show. It's just going to give a hint around the edges. And I'm going to distress these two pieces with a distressing tool like I did with the tapestry piece. And once those two pieces are distressed, I'm going to sponge the edges with soft suede. Next I'm going to take these two layers and add my tapestry. And then I'm going to look at how I want to make the bottom layers kind of accentuate the same distressing as the top one. So for example, I'm going to just take and mash this corner a little. And you see how that brings out the blushing bride layer. And I'm going to tone it down a little with the soft suede ink as I do that. And I, I've got this nice tear here. Um, and I could just take and make a little tear right under it in the soft suede layer. And if I wanted, I could even tear the Blushing Bride layer. And maybe I'll take and um, on this corner, I think I'll just tear off a little of the Blushing Bride so that that's just absent from that bottom corner. Then I'm going to just put those layers together with dimensionals. So there's my image piece and I'm then going to work on the card base and the background. For my taste, this background is both too plain and it's also very bright compared to the other colors in here because everything in this piece has been toned down with sponging. So I'm going to start working with this Bravo Burgundy piece by using the same flourish from Elements of Style that's on the tapestry uh, and just use it as a background image for the Bravo Burgundy layer. So I'm going to just stamp this flourish randomly and focusing mostly on the edges because that's what's going to show behind the image piece. The next thing I'm going to do is sponge the edges using Bravo Burgundy ink and it will give a nice older feel to it just to darken up the edges like this. Now those edges are nicely darkened and so I'm going to layer that on top of my card base and then use some dimensionals to attach the tapestry piece. After I've done that then I'm going to go ahead and add my embellishments and then I end up with this lovely vintage card. 
I hope this video has been helpful and that you'll go try these vintage techniques in your studio. You can see the other vintage technique videos using the tapestry paper at www.stampingmadly.com or click on the YouTube icon to go to my YouTube channel. Happy stamping!